Hi, this is Jay, the developer of Corona Project Manager, the number one IDE for Corona SDK developers. I want to take you on a whirlwind tour of 10 of the best features in CPM version 3, so you'll see why so many game and app developers swear by it. First, we have an interface designed to give you what you need. Projects and assets on the left, tabbed source code editing in the center, the terminal window at the bottom for viewing feedback from the simulator, and some miscellaneous tools over on the right. You get what you need, but you can also make them all get out of the way when you want to just focus on the code. But wouldn't it be nice to be able to try things in Lua without going through the hassle of creating an entire project, launching the simulator, and so on? The Lua Scratchpad runs Lua code right from inside CPM, so you can play what if really easily. And when you close the Scratchpad tab, it automatically saves whatever you wrote, so it's right there when you open it next time. Many times when writing a game, you need to look at one of your graphics, maybe even see the width and height. So we made the Preview tab give you that information right up at the top. And in case you need to get coordinates for a section of your graphics, you can do that as well. But maybe you don't want to open a whole tab to look at your graphics. You can also see them in the Mini Preview over to the right side. What's cool is that if you select an audio file, you can preview it too. Now this is the feature that all IDEs should have, dynamic assets and aliases. Using the checkboxes next to the assets, you can determine whether they'll be included when the project is launched. And by giving a file an alias, you can automatically change the name when it's launched, which means you can try different scenarios without changing any code. In fact, you can borrow assets from multiple projects and even launch a project that doesn't include a file called main.lua. Try that with any other IDE. While most people like the editor in CPM, some folks just don't want to give up TextMate or Notepad++. By checking a box in Preferences, you can use all the cool features of CPM, but still open the source files in your favorite editor. If you're using the editor built into CPM, you have the choice of opening them in the tabbed interface or opening them in separate windows. Need to figure out where a specific function is in the long piece of source code? Just click the name of the function in the list and you'll jump right there. And if you see a function name in your code and you want to see the actual definition, right click on the name and you can jump right to it. Speaking of jumps, Command or Control J and you can jump to any line number in the file. Here's another way to find your way around, bookmarks. Set a bookmark, run look at something else, then use the bookmark menu to jump right back to that spot. And here's one that's even better. CPM has a series of tags to do cool things and there's one called Label. Mark a section of code with a label tag and it'll show up over to the side. Since it's a part of the source code, it'll be there even after you close and reopen the file. Click it in the list and jump right there. The editor in CPM has all the necessities such as code folding, auto indent, syntax highlighting, autocomplete for Lua and the Corona SDK API calls, and you can even customize colors just the way you like. Many times you'll have useful chunks of code that are too small for their own file, but you want to be able to use them from project to project. That's where Code Snippets comes in. Put in a line or a thousand lines, it doesn't really matter, and then put them in your code with a quick point and click. Writing code to move a little alien around is easy compared to getting all the housekeeping code correct in the build.settings and config.lua files. With the code generator in CPM, you can put those files together the way it makes sense by choosing the options you want from the screen. And if there's some special tweak you need that's not included, no problem because CPM generates straight Corona SDK code so you can fiddle with it at any time. In this new version of Corona Project Manager, there are dozens of new features. For example, I didn't even mention the color picker that pops up in your source code to make choosing the correct color easy. CPM is available for Windows and Mac and helps make you a more productive developer. You can concentrate on the creative part of programming and let Corona Project Manager worry about the mundane things. Click the download link on this page and get started using CPM today.